My name is Don McCullen and I've been associated or, you know, people associate me with uh, with war and death and destruction, but which is a big mistake really because I've actually, you know, branched out uh, uh, to try and eradicate that kind of um, impression that people are supposed to get of me. So, uh, um, and before that I was more associated with social documentary photography um, and then I, I graduated towards the war scene and then now I'm trying to backpedal and you know become some something else in what very little time I've got left. They weren't meant to be incredibly serious in my still lives they were more like a hobby but I did them in an old shed out the back here which used to be an old outdoor kind of privy. There was some um, window some glass I never cleaned it and and of course again it it, 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 it translated to this old-fashioned light and of course my exposures you know it used to take one or two seconds I mean I you're talking up to a man here who worked in you know a, a 250th of a second or a 125th of a second and here am I standing in there holding my breath and the cable release you know using a second, two-second exposure. I think really what attracted me uh, was the disciplines, you know, you know, and the peace and the freedom. Because, you know, you don't have to ask a coffee pot, may I photograph you? You don't have to ask a bunch of, of, of berries that you gathered from the hedgerows, you know, is it okay with you if I you know, mess around and put you next to something that you're not normally next to and take a picture. I make marriages out of my still lives. I, I use my oriental bronzes, which I have here, and, and I, I collect to this day, small bronzes, mostly to do with the Buddhist world. I use those and I use fruit. I use mushrooms I gather from the fields. And um, you know blackberries, all kinds of elderberries, and and even old kind of um, discarded snail shells, and it's like a risotto of trying, you know, to make these things gel. And um, many years ago, when somebody spotted one of my early efforts, it was a journal of photography, and they said, looking at my still lives, there was they thought it was some. Me, me cleansing myself because they said that my still lives reminded them of religious altars. I wasn't seeking disciples. Going into my shed and rearranging those objects was purely leisure time. Nothing more, nothing less. They're the sweet, enjoyable kind of sides of, of my life's work. They're not meant to be taken seriously. You know, uh, I, I do them as a as a release from the terrible things that, you know, I've seen terrible things in my life and I'm entitled to run away from them. You know, you can't because you carry them with you forever. But I have got to a stage in my life now where I know my, my energy and my ambition is beginning to wane. I don't know if I'll ever go in that old shed out the back there and ever do attempt to any more still alive. I think about it, but each day I wake up now, I, I, I'm getting the wrong messages about, you know, what I want to do with that day. I'm beginning to feel as if I want to play truant a bit more often, which would be my loss because I love photography.